Okay, I'm launching from Ozette Trail parking lot. I'm gonna do that Ozette Triangle, a two night backpacking trip here on the Olympic Coast Trail. I'm gonna see petroglyphs, tide pools, and a whole lot of beautiful nature. Let's go. Okay, so far a pretty uneventful about three miles on the Ozette Trail towards the ocean. Um, but I think we're almost there. The camera can't probably pick it up, but I, I think I can hear like some seals or some sea lions making noise in the distance. So I know I'm getting close to the beach. We made it. We finally made it to the iconic Olympic coast. It's been years since I've been wanting to come to the Olympic coast. This has been a dream in the making. Behind me is Cape Alvara, uh, but now I gotta hike about one, one and a half miles to my campsite, Wedding Rock, where I'll set up. But man, the tide is coming in. I don't think we're gonna see that many tide pools or petroglyphs today because the tide's gonna come in until nighttime. But in the morning, it'll go down and we'll be able to see some epic nature sights and some history. So get excited for that. Time to go set up camp. Let's crank out this 1.7-ish miles. Somebody just left their phone right here. Oh my gosh. Hopefully the owner's okay. But uh, yeah, we gotta keep moving. It's getting, the tide's coming up. I shouldn't need to pass any difficult areas for my campsite according to my maps, but let's just, uh, let's, let's go fast, let's go. Something you have to keep in mind when you're hiking the Olympic coast is the tides. Make sure you carry a tide chart, I have one in my bag, and know when the tides are gonna be low and high because I know right now the tide's coming up. I know I have enough time to get to my campsite, but when I get to my campsite, where I am right now, it's gonna be underwater. I'm essentially gonna be a trap in my campsite. So, gotta be careful. Apparently, it can get pretty dangerous. Just gotta do your research before you come. Oh my God, it's so funny, I found the owner of the phone. I just passed this couple and they were asking me if I saw a phone. And I, I mean, I totally did, right? So I described to them where it was and uh, they're gonna go find it. And they told me that I'm not too far away from uh, Wedding Rock, so let's keep pushing on and then we can set up camp and we'll have plenty of time to uh, explore the area. Cause it's only about 1.45 right now. So plenty of time before sunset. Oh, if the weather holds out, sunset is going to be incredible. Tide is coming in. Alright, I think I found it. We're going to camp right here. There's no way the, sun, the water comes past up here, right? High tide, high tide comes right up here. I camp right on the shore. It looks like there used to be a rope swing. This is sick, yeah. Okay, so I think that rock in the distance is where it becomes unpassable. This is Wedding Rock area, campground. This is where I have a permit to camp. Oh, there's more camp, let's go explore. I think I'm the only one here. It's a weekday. Uh, I bet there's more people. Oh. How do we feel about this one?
I think I'm digging the first spot. All right, I'm gonna go get comfortable set up camp. This is epic, man. Olympic Coast must do. All right, let's go to the shore and collect some driftwood for firewood tonight. I don't have any kindling, so I'm gonna need a lot of small stuff to get this bad boy going. I'm gonna go get closer to the shore and see if I can touch the water and explore that area before the tide comes all the way in. I still got time to collect firewood. I've just spotted the first marine creature of the trip. I think tomorrow we'll be able to spot more once the tide is low. I'm keeping an eye out for whales and seals while I'm here. Maybe I'll see like a humpback whale or an orca whale, a sea lion or a seal. I hope I do. I'll have to keep an eye out though. Man, this tide is rushing in. I better get out of here. Luckily my camp is just right up ahead. And here we have the mighty Pacific Ocean. The, lar the largest ocean in the entire, the planet's largest ocean. Let's touch it. That's warm. It's like bath water. Is that, I bet that's tide pool water. Ew. Okay, I want to touch the actual ocean. Over there. Okay, let's go. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little ominous being here with the tide coming in. It is rushing in like around me. I'm playing with fire a little bit here. People have died here. They've been fatally caused. This tide has caused fatalities. Uh, it's, I cannot run this tide. I think what happens is they get stuck like between somewhere and they they can't walk or I don't know. I got my campsite. Dude, there's no way the tide goes higher than all that greenery. Watch me eat my words, dude. And I have to hike up through that shrubbery. I trust in God. We'll be fine. I am so lucky. In just a few minutes, where I'm standing right now is going to be completely underwater. Washington has some gnarly tides, my guy. Okay, let's go find some firewood, set up camp, and explore. Let's explore the area a little more. I don't think those are eagles, but they, they could, I, I, I want them to be. I'm pretty sure behind me, they're over there, are over there are wedding, wedding rocks. The tide's coming in, so I can't find the petroglyphs now. Let's head back to camp. All right, I'm thinking right here for camp. Let's get the tent set up. All right, boom. Ready, tent. Come on, ready, 10, bam, there we go, it worked that time, there's my home for the night. I don't know if the camera can pick up the mist that's being made, I'm pretty sure from the warm tidal pool water getting mixed with the cold water from the ocean, it's creating some sort of fog of mist. Pretty cool. There's what my campsite looks like from the beach. It's the tide coming in. 
I think it's time for some dinner. Time for a little early dinner. I am starving. On the menu is chicken fried rice from Walmart Mountain House. Let's make this stuff. All right, I poured the boiling water in. Now we just gotta wait a few minutes, stir it up, wait a few more. Time for dinner. I am ready for this. Yummy. I'm sitting here eating dinner and I saw a pod of whales pass right in front of me. I couldn't tell if they were humpbacks or orcas. They were too far away for the GoPro really to pick up. I got a little bit of footage on my iPhone, so I'll share that. But man, how epic. I got to see whales when I visited the Olympic coast for my very first time. Whales on my very first solo backpack trip. Let's go. Well, I'm walking in the tide pools. Look what I found. An octopus. A bit a mama. How sad. I'm pretty sure octopuses die after they have babies. So this octopus just must have laid eggs. There's a bunch of bugs around it, so let's keep moving. I just witnessed one of the most intense weather changes I've ever seen in my life. It was so sunny 15 minutes ago. And now, look at the ocean. There used to be two islands right there. It's like, it turned evening time and the clouds just rolled in. I was hoping to see the sunset. Maybe this will blow by, but I don't know. It looks like rain, to be honest. Wow. Well, good thing I'm prepared. Had to get the fire going. The vibes changed really fast. It was a sunny, bright beach day one moment, and now it's a cold, gloomy Pacific Northwest day. But at least, evening. But at least I got a fire going. Didn't feel in the process. Almost didn't get the fire, but we made it happen. We got enough wood, so I'm just gonna sit back and uh, Enjoy the vibes. The sun decided to come out. Super lucky. Man, this sunset is beautiful. The islands are peeking out. I was reading in my guide that that's Ozette Island. During low tide, you can almost walk to it. What an amazing gem here. I can't say it enough. This is probably one of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen. Okay, time for bed. First solo backpacking trip on the Olympic coast here, and it's going so far so good. I can hear some like sea lions over on the island over there. Um, it's beautiful. See you in the morning. Just woke up here on the Olympic coast at Wedding Rock. It was a beautiful night. Had the whole beach to myself pretty much. Now the tide is going down, so I'm gonna go explore Wedding Rocks and try to find those petroglyphs before I pack up and head home. Let's go see some petroglyphs. Can't believe the water came up this high. 
I mean, it makes sense. I could hear it around 2 a.m. The waves were super loud. Now I can, I'm walking through like these fields of crabs. But the guidebook said the the petroglyphs are by black rocks. So black rocks, I think up ahead it looks like some black rocks. Let's um let's keep searching. This might be my first sign of the petroglyphs, but it's really hard to tell. I'm gonna keep looking. I don't see any petroglyphs here. Let's keep looking. Still no petroglyphs here, but what a beautiful tide pool. Look at this. From further back, I thought that these might be it, but these don't look like it. I'm searching all these rocks and I still haven't found any petroglyphs. No petroglyphs yet. It's pretty hard to tell if something's a petroglyph or men are like naturally made sometimes. But so far nothing that stood out as definitely man-made. I got a few more rocks I'm going to check on my walk back, but maybe the tide is too high. Maybe I got to go out further. I totally thought I just saw a petroglyph on that rock. I am searching high and low with no luck so far. I mean, look at this. That's not, that doesn't count as a petroglyph though. That's just a X on a rock, right? I got like one more, a couple more promising rocks, but it's not looking good for finding petroglyphs. Finally, I found one. I found a petroglyph. This one looks like a whale. This is awesome. So these petroglyphs were made here by the Maka tribe. The Maka people are the original indigenous inhabitants of this region. And they left art on these rocks. Whales, people, sailing ships, and dogs. I'm pretty sure this one in front of me is a whale. Check it out. I'm so stoked I was actually able to find a pictograph. So amazing to appreciate art left here so long ago and, and it's in nature. Incredible. Let's keep looking. I can spot something up there. Let's see what it is. Not gonna lie, this is a shame, but this looks like it was made recently. That's like a frowny face across a circle. Yeah, that's too easy. That was made recently. You can pretty much tell if it's ancient or not. Let's keep looking. It's hard to tell, but these look like they could be petroglyphs too. <clears throat> All right, I'm almost back to camp and now I'm gonna eat breakfast, pack up and uh, walk back to the car. Okay, all packed up, we're gonna head back to the car. It's been an amazing night here on the Olympic coast. What a beautiful view. If you've ever wanted to solo backpack, but you're afraid to or you're unsure and you're watching this video, just do it. It's not that bad. I did it. That was a blast. I'm definitely going to be back. I'm walking along the beach back to the car. I'm almost to the trailhead to head back east inland. And I just realized I went back the way I came. This is a triangle loop. I could have gone the other way. And honestly, I think it was shorter if I went the other way. Why did I do this? I'm turning around and seeing everything I just saw. Oh well, if you come to the Ozette Triangle and camp, make sure you do the whole triangle. Don't be like me and just do half of the triangle twice. <laughs> so 
all right i found the ozek trail i'm gonna head back to the car now that's my last glimpse of the pacific ocean there's ozet island right there what an amazing first solo backpacking experience highly recommended if you ever want to go solo backpacking olympic coast is the spot uh, let's get back to the car look at this giant slug on the boardwalk Getting close to the trailhead, so I'll wrap it up here. That was solo backpacking on the Olympic coast in Washington state. We finally found the pictographs. We explored some tide pools. We saw some marine life. We heard the marine life in the distance. We saw the whales, we saw some crabs, and we experienced our first solo backpacking on the Olympic coast. I'd say it's a great location for first time solo backpackers. And if you've ever wanted to solo backpack like me, just go for it. It's not that bad. Just make a lot of noise and you'll scare away anything that you're worried about. Because if you think about it, anything you're worried about seeing in the nature is more scared of you than you are of it. Anyways, that's it. So, see you next time on another solo backpacking adventure. I'm thinking next time I'll be in the mountains. Signing off.